So that's where we kind of, you know, are very flexible as a tool. So you can just. Oh, really wow. Look at that. Crazy. Yeah. And then zoom out. Oh, somewhere here. Yeah. There you go. Hello, No Code Ops, Phil here. And today I'm with Sarah, who's the co-founder and CEO of Alloy Automation. Sarah, welcome to the AHA Moment Demo Show. Hey, everyone. Thanks for having me, Phil. So good uh, to have you here. So uh, we'd just love to kick off by, uh, you know, just directly from you, uh, you know, what caused, uh, you know, the creation of Alloy Automation? Uh, curious to hear the background. Yeah. Uh, so I guess quick background on myself. Um, I taught myself how to code in high school. My co-founder and I met actually through the open source community. I ended up leaving high school early to help build this company called Do Not Pay. So I was like an engineer there. And essentially this company does exactly what it says, which is let you not pay for parking tickets, legal fees, all sorts of things. So that involved a lot of RPA building kind of these scripts and API level automation. So that was actually my exposure to this sort of space. Um, so I I went to college, left again, um, and was working on side projects with my friend and now co-founder, and this was one of them. Uh, the goal of it was initially to just build a more visual version of Zapier. It was really simple. We figured um, we wanted to build for a more non-technical audience even. Um, and then we kind of got into e-commerce automation uh, pretty randomly. So I had a small streetwear brand on the side, and it was on Shopify, so we kind of built um, some more e comm specific functionality. And from there, um, today's version of Alloy was born. Amazing. So cool to hear it. Um, and thanks for all your work on Do Not Pay. I've used it before and have not paid. <laughs> um, so yeah, would love to just jump into the tool if you want to share your screen and just kind of, sure. if you could walk us through like an aha moment that a user would have in this platform versus uh, like another integration platform, that would be awesome. Yeah, so first off, we are very tailored to e-commerce, like I said. So um, we have a bit over 200 integrations today and they're all e-commerce focused across the ops and marketing stack. Um, so on the ops side, that includes ERPs, reverse logistics tools, your 3PLs. Um, on the marketing side, a lot of loyalty platforms, SMS, et cetera. Um, and so typically different, like you can have a marketing team use it, you can have an ops team use it, but if you're in the same brand, you can have multiple workspaces. Um, and then it's really easy to kind of just toggle views for the workflows you have. Um, An e-commerce specific thing we do is introduce you to recipes. So these recipes are kind of specific um, brand related workflows. And then you uh, can so these start are like a things like templates people are commonly using across e-com. Exactly. Yeah. And when you start from scratch, very similar to any automation tool here, um, but obviously the Shopify trigger that we have is just a lot more in depth. So you would authenticate your store, it's pretty easy. And then we have a plethora of trigger events. And so I'm just gonna do a really quick example here that begins with an order being paid. You can set it up so it triggers here and then um, we introduce our logic in the second step and our logic blocks, it breaks down into three different types. Uh, iterate is like a for loop and then these two are essentially like if else conditions. Um, so with iterate, you can then go through um, lists of things, right? So if an order comes in, there's a list of line items attached to an order. So you can then perform operations on those. Um, so try to make it as easy as possible to leverage logic since e-commerce workflows tend to be a lot more like logic heavy. Yep. Like tracking inventory, updating inventory, uh, right. all that stuff. Amazing. Um, and I see you, you know, with like popular collaboration platforms, Airtable, Asana, all of that jazz. Um, mm -hmm. One thing I've ran into in the past with Zapier is just like only having a few paths or else I have to like move into filter. Do you allow for like more than three uh, different paths to something? Yeah. Like branches? So actually, right. A lot of our brands, I can tell you, one of the biggest brands on here has done over 200 branches actually. Oh, wow. There's a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of groupings and SKUs, right? If you're like a brand like, well, Forever 21 doesn't even count as a brand, but you know, like if you have thousands of SKUs, like oftentimes the only way to deal with it is if you don't have a good naming convention is to do tons of branches. So that's where we kind of, you know, are very flexible as a tool. So you can just... 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Crazy. Yeah. And then zoom out. Oh, somewhere here. Yeah, there you go. And do you guys allow for, uh, like, one thing I've seen also in just like the, you know, call it like middleware world, uh, mm -hmm. is... Um, like everything happens live and in production, right? There's no real like good staging or testing. Everything's done with live data. Do you guys allow for anything on that level? Yeah, so that's something we're working on, at least like a test environment. But at the moment, block, or we call them blocks, block by block can look at the output. You can test an output and then see like essentially each um, block you can go through a test, right? Um, so at some point we do want to make it so you can turn on dev mode and then do a full on like or test. Amazing. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what the most interesting, like surprising thing you've seen someone do with Allo Automation that you're like, whoa, that is out there. I, I like examples that kind of branch uh, online and in person. So an example here is actually one of the three PL tools we connect with. You can actually control like how you insert things into a package, right? So we've seen some brands basically do cool unboxing experiences by defining like, okay, the customer ordered this bundle or like this set of items. Let's make it so you stack it in this way and have like a insert here, like an insert as in like maybe a note between things, right? So it's pretty cool to be able to see um, workflows control like in real objects almost. So cool. And uh, if folks want to learn more uh, about Alloy, about uh, like setting up an account, what's the best way for them to do it? Yeah, I mean, definitely engage with us on Twitter. So our handle is Alloy Automation. Um, feel free to email us, contact at runalloy.com, or just go ahead on the website and you can try things out. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for being here. Uh, so cool to hop into the tool uh, hands-on for the first time. And uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for making things easier for all of us no-coders out there, especially in the e-com yeah. space. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Bye.